Lads and Lynettes, hello, I am LDC, you can call me L. Just wanted to give you a quick, you know, intro into this series. We're going to be doing the full Wolf Among Us, episode 1 to 5. But before we start, I wanted to give you some background on the Fable series itself, which this game is based upon. The game itself uh, was written by Bill Willingham. Um, it's a whimsical series that utilises just about every childhood fable in a tale of exile and persecution. The Fables, who include such notables as the Big Bad Wolf and Snow White, had their homeland overtaken by a mysterious villain known as the Adversary. With their world enslaved, many of the Fables were able to escape our world. New York City, to be exact. Though they live secretly among us, the Fables must continually deal with the drama of their lost home and the political instability of their new home. Fable Town. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and enjoy. Lads and ladettes, welcome to The Wolf Among Us with me, LDC. I hope you liked that little intro at the beginning. Wow, I've been excited about this game for a very, very long time. Mate, I am ready to play. As the intro said, it's based on Fables. This is a prequel to that, made by Telltale Games, famous for the Walking Dead series. So let's, let's get on and let's just play The Wolf Among Us. Episode 1, Faith. Let's do this. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Again, if you missed it, a uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So, 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> Tenement building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. <laughs> Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Um, yeah, you know what? No harm done, it'd be right. No harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Okay, um, yeah, it's really not my it's problem. Not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big B, please. That's a low blow, mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Whoa! Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Let's head upstairs. I should probably go handle this. Yes, hey, just... please! Thank you. Threw his cigarette away. 
So this is Fables. Well, the, the world of Fables. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking. Oh. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Oh. Then get the fuck back inside. Wow, what a nice man he is. Okay, so we're starting. Something's kicking off. Sheriff Big B. Okay, so I'm playing it on the PC as you can probably see. There's a phone over here. Let's use it. Something's going on in that room. Can we please pick this up? Stick it back on the hook. Look at the matchbook on the floor and use the hand icon icon to pack it up. P pick it up. I can't speak. Take a look. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Hmm. Hey. <laughs> we just steal the matches. What a lad. So what does that do? Useful later, eh? Let's. He sounds like something's kicking off. Let's. Oh no 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 no. Can we can we just? Is he gonna kick it in? Oh good. I didn't want to be like a badass straight off the bat. God damn you! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Now. Whoa! Hey! Don't... Hey! Oh god! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? Oh! I'll fucking kill you! All right, what's going on? Oh Jesus! Oh, it's time to go. Throw it down, boy. What are boy. you gonna fucking do, huh? God, he's a big lad, isn't he? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're going down, Woody. I'm gonna break your fucking face. <laughs> Is that a fact? <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Okay, this is gonna be a struggle for me. Oh, Jesus. You gotta calm down. Yeah, take him out. Oh god. Into the sofa. Should have thrown him in the sink. Oh shit. At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Punch him in the face. Oh, right in his throat. Shit. Yeah, into the cabinet. Oh. Back off, asshole. Oh shit. Whoop. Kick him in his ah. Oh, I'm kicking this guy's ass right now. Into the sink. It's got to be done. Oh no. Oh no. As if he's going for the full like. Whoa! He's proper going for it. Oh! Uh, in the bed. <laughs> this guy is rock hard. Ow! He shouldn't hit a woman ever. It's kind of where I draw the line, guys. Oh no! God, I could have died like immediately then. Uh, where's Q? Q, 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 This is the problem. I'm so bad with the controls. Oh my god. Oh, I thought we were going to kill him. Game over. Fight done. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Shut up. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You <laughs> broke my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. <laughs> shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. I swear I got this guy. Off. Um, Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. She a prostitute? Are you all right? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Goodness, she's been Why bruised all over the place. Come on. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? 
I'm the woodsman, you whore. Oh. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. What? I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones. He's and the... threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? He's the wolf. By all means. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> Slightly intense. <laughs> Will you excuse me? So he's the wolf and the other guy's the woodsman from Little Red Riding Hood. That is awesome. Ah, shit. Is he dead? Oh, the toad! Hey, toad. My car. Oh, no. Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. <laughs> I ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. Couldn't be avoided. What? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. He looks pretty mad. You help. Things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not today, woodsman. Is he gonna kill me? Oh, Q, Q, Q. Ah, Q is happening. Q is happening. You can hear me tapping away. Whoa. I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. He's killing me. He's killing me. Oh, look. What the hell? Oh, shit. What? Oh, there's a lost cat on it. Oh my god. You got an axe in your head? You can't be doing that. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's as more if, from me. As if he's dead. I'll kill you. No way. You fucking bitch. Let me help you. Oh. Oh, no, I don't. He's had enough. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Yeah, I'm, it might be a dick, but... How do people know that they're actually fables? I thought they were trying to hide. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Look at that mongoose photo. That looks quality film. Shit. Just come on. Yeah, let's light a cigarette like a pro. Here. Lad. <laughs> Thanks. Come on then, let's have a chat. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I wonder what that ribbon's I'm for. I'm answering them the best that I can. The graphics in this game are absolutely brilliant, by the way. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. Is this Red Riding Hood? But things change, I guess. No way. Yes. I bet it is. Oh. Can't see. Coin laundry? The hell? Totally! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ah, oh, the Stop. frogs in the book line. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. She's being all like flirty and whatnot. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Uh, I'm a sucker for a woman. Let's see, I've got. Uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? Isn't he you a got good me lad? Out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. <laughs> you cleaned up. You look like shit. Ah, oh, cheers. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. I swear it's Red Riding Hood. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. The big bad wolf. I'll see you around, wolf. I'm so confused. Things that I don't know. Which, this is just adds to the long list of things that I don't know. However, that opening scene was absolutely mint. God, look at how great they grew. Look at the cars. They just look quality. What about Toad and his car? A totally awesome broken car now. That was awesome. Oh, we've got an intro screen now. And an achievement. Wow! So yeah, the intro at the beginning just kind of explained what this game was all about. As you can see, it's a very distinct art style, as per the uh, the Walking Dead and Telltale games. Pretty much MO right now. So welcome to the Wolf Among Us, ladies and gentlemen. David Bogue and I should buy you a beer, my friend. This is going to be the full playthrough of every single episode of this game. Very happy that I've been able to play it. Just love it. Love it already. Episode 1, Faith. So this is just the start of the episode? What the hell? Bullfinch Street, that's where we are right now. Oh, are we walking? The Woodland Luxury Apartments. We are indeed, okay. Let's see if there's anything else we can do around here. The glass slipper shoes. Interesting. Yeah, I guess shoes by Cinderella would have been too obvious. <laughs> Definitely would have been too obvious, my friend. A couple of places we can go about here. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this first episode right here after that awesome intro. Lazaladets, thank you very much for watching for The Wolf Among Us Part 1, and I will see you next time.